Hello and welcome to Board Game TV and we're playing Matches of Madness and we are playing the first expansion from the Sanctum of Twilight uh, the Twilight Diadatum how do you pronounce that? Diadem, I believe. Diadem. Every year the streets of Arkham light up with the celebration of the Twilight Fair hosted and funded by the Silver Twilight Lodge however Marianne Chase has discovered a chilling secret lurking at the heart of the festivities. Do you have the courage to oppose the wealthy and powerful Silver Twilight Lodge? Or will their scheme, scheme claim <clears throat> excuse me, another innocent soul? It's a four-star difficulty. Looks like it's a pretty long one. <clears throat> Alright, so we have uh, Agatha Crane. Agatha Crane. Mandy Thompson and Wilson Richards. Okay. Candles, lead pipe, lucky rabbit's foot, ritual dagger, silver twilight dagger, and poison mist. I have a lore of five. I have a lore of two. Four. Those both give uh, bonuses to spell casting. I'll take the lead pipe since I'm got a super good strength here. Okay. I'll take the Wookie Rabbit's foot then. And that Two leaves candles. the candles. Hey, <coughs> it's a light source and you can discard it to convert all magnifying glasses to successes while casting a spell. And you can it don't matter. It's a light source. Yeah, I'll let you have it. You'll be the one stocked yeah, up this time. I mean, I'm probably going to discard it. <clears throat> spell, but. Okay. All right, each investigator begins with one clue. All right, so I'm going to play Wilson Richards. After you resolve a horror check, become focused. And I have the lead pipe, which is not that great of a heavy weapon, just one damage. CJ? I am Agatha Crane, the person I played at the first one. I have the Poison Mist spell, the Silver Twilight Dagger. I may deal one additional damage while casting an attack spell. I have the ritual dagger, which will let me roll one additional die while passing a spell, and the candles, which let me discard 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 the candles card to convert all magnifying glasses to successes while casting a spell. What's your special ability? Oh, after you resolve the horror track, gain one blue. And I'm Mandy Thompson, the researcher. Once around, when I gain a clue, I can gain an additional clue. And I'm carrying the Lucky Rabbit's foot, which once around I can re-roll one die. Mm. I guess I'm just a cold bitch. Bang! You're stuck up on the monster. What? The annual Twilight Fair, hosted and funded by the Silver Twilight Lodge, lights up the streets of Arkham this week. As per tradition, on the last day of the fair, one of the beautiful debutantes of Arkham is crowned the Queen of Love and Beauty at the Twilight <coughs> Ball. This year, Mary Ann Chase has been named Queen. She comes to you with fear, hidden under her sharp words, begging you to investigate the fair, which she insists is not all it seems. Mary Ann believes the Silver Twilight Lodge is up to something sinister, and you are the only one who can help her. The Twilight Fair Parade is scheduled today. 
You agree to meet Mary Ann at the parade route in order to investigate the Silver Twilight Lodge while their members are distracted. Hopefully, there is still time to stop whatever scheme they have put in place. All right, every building is flying bright decorations in honor of the fair when you arrive at the parade route. Place the street corner two, street corner one, and street two tiles as indicated. Most of the crowds are gathered closer to the beginning of the parade tour. Though you have avoided the main body of the crowd, place your investigator figures as indicated. Why do the crowd Mary Ann Chase waves you down? This place a person token is indicated. This is Mary Ann Chase. Who is the highest influence? Just for reference, which symbol will be on her? It's a weird looking one. Um, place an explore token is indicated. A small branch of the Bank of Arkham is located on the street. Place the Explore token as indicated. A nondescript door has a letter slot mounted at chest height and the words Magic Shop. Place the Explore token as indicated. The street continues out of sight. Place a Sight token as indicated. By the back the way you came, the street is blocked off. Place a search token as indicated. As soon as you approach, Marianne addresses you. I do not have much time. The Silver Twilight Lodge is keeping close watch on my movement, and as the Queen of Love and Beauty, I am expected to prepare for the Twilight Ball tonight, but I need you to investigate the Silver Twilight Lodge. They are up to something sinister. I just know it. You might want to visit the library because I think the librarian knows more than she lets on. Glancing over her shoulder, Marianne sees several members of the crowd watching her conversation with you. I have to go now, but find me later at the ball. I could not secure invitations for you, but this should work just as well. Do not lose it. She presses a silver ring with the silver twilight lodge symbol on its face into your hand, then hurries away from the parade road. An investigator gains a membership ring, unique item, then remove Mary Ann from the board. Mary Ann is convinced the silver twilight lodge is up to something. Now it is up to you to uncover their dark secrets. I was going to say somebody talked to her. Membership <coughs> Yeah. Who wants to gain it? Uh, what does it do? Nothing. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's just evidence. Yeah, well, probably whoever has it will be the one that needs to get in somewhere. Okay, and Jeffrey. What was it? That was a barricade. Yeah, okay. Eh, I'll take a look at it just in case. A sign on the blockade reads, end the parade route. The parade route must start further up the street. Gain one clue, then discard the search token. Okay. And for my second one. I guess I'll go in and poke around in here. Okay. It's the diner. Ooh. The diner is crowded with people eating pie, chatting, and enjoying a break from the large Twilight Fair celebration. Discard this Explore token and place the diner tile and a wall as indicated. We got a wall. Now, where was it she said we needed to head to? The, the library. library. Okay. <clears throat> a waitress is rushing from table to table, taking orders and clearing dishes. Place a person token as indicated. Weird on the app, it's purple. Two elderly men are arguing loudly over their tea in the corner. One of them knocks a piece of paper to the ground where it goes unnoticed. Place a search token as indicated.
Quite a lot of smoke seems to be leaking out of the oven. In the kitchen, place a search token, as indicated. A small desk in one corner of the kitchen must belong to the diner owner. It is covered with paper stamped with the silver twilight lodge symbol. Place a search token, as indicated. A back door leads out to a small yard. Place an explore token, as indicated. You may move one space into the explored area. You sure you want to go in there with the handgun? Mm -hmm. Kind of looks suspicious. Yeah. You're going to go in there with the shotgun. Okay. What's well, your turn, TJ? Okay. Well, I'll go. Mm. I, I, I say we do the dividing conquer strategy. Okay. We'll go one. And I'll explore this place. <clears throat> the magic shop the magic shop is only lit by soft lamps leaving patches of deep shadow between displays a heavy velvet curtain separates the shop from a back office cluttered with paperwork discard this explore token and place the magic shop tile walls and a door as indicated so you got we need one wall one two walls and one door Okay, so put the uh, wall there. Here. No, wall goes on the first one. Oh, okay. Okay, and then a door there. Yeah. <clears throat> a sleek tabby cat is sitting atop a shelf of books. Place a person token as indicated. A man with a wax mustache is quietly dusting one of the displays. Place a person token is indicated. This is the proprietor. Be careful, that's a suspicious mustache. Behind one of the displays, a hefty item catches your eye. Place the coal shovel common item as indicated. The front door leads back out to the wide street. Place an explorer token. The coal shovel was back here? Yeah, as indicated. You may move one space. And I have another movement yeah, action. Yeah, you do. I'll, just, uh, I'll move here. Yep. I'll, 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 I'll stay. Can I interrogate the cat? Mm, okay. But that's the end of my turn. Because... Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, alright. So, what I'll do is I will move one, two. First thing I'll do is use my sight. <clears throat> And explore that. Street one and cafe tiles is indicated. That's a big area. Let's see here. A woman decked out in an ermine and pearls is using a piece of opera glasses to watch the parade. Place a person token as indicated. Several young people exit a corner cafe to join the crowd in the street, and the door swings closed behind them with a delicate chime. Place an explore token as indicated. Place a sight token. Wow. This is a big map. Okay, then I'm going to explore this. Okay. <clears throat> the Bank of Arkham, which will be the vault tile. Off with from that huh. bank vault. All right. A trim man with a silver tie pin is seated at the exchange desk, too busy with his papers to acknowledge your presence. Place a person token as indicated. This is the banker. The vault door is a shining metal disc, impressive in sheer size. Place an explore token. Right. You may move one space into the explored area. You want to? Yeah. All right. And that's the end of my turn. Money. So we go to Mythos phase. 
What was that scratching sound? No immediate effect. Probably the cat. The celebration around you is in full swing, but you notice something odd about the people around you. This mythos event affects the investigator in an outdoor space, which no. is nobody. Oh no, not in's mouth again. Okay. Okay, okay this is all one spot. So I guess let me talk to the waitress. You do have a influence four. Alright. You can say, could I get some pie? Have you ever been to the Twilight Ball? Have you seen anything strange lately? Hmm. Can I get some American pie? I forget, did that lady at the... Oops. When we first started, the lady that was talking, did she say something about pie or am I thinking of something else? Uh, I'm pretty sure when you went into the Explore Tokens, it talked about how uh, you could see people eating pie. Okay. Uh, in that case, have you ever... Let's see. What do you think? Have you ever been to the ball or seen anything strange lately? Strange. Okay, we'll go with that. Have you seen anything strange lately? As the waitress mops up spilled coffee with a rag, a thoughtful look grows on her face. You know, something strange did happen the other day. Our cook just up and quit, saying he had all the money he needed. That night when I was closing up, I heard a commotion in the kitchen. When I peeked inside, there was no one there, but I felt such a chill, even though the weather was warm. Gained one clue. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll go on and use the other one to boot scoot back here. Okay. CJ? Okay, I'll, I'll talk to the person. Cat. The cat? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can shoot the cat, befriend the cat, or leave it alone. Let's befriend the cat. Maybe the one with the cat. You have to do an influence check. You got one success. I cannot handle the momentum of the cat. You want to try again? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I that, wouldn't be able to talk to him. I want to say when we've been able to befriend them in the past, they've usually been nice. Yeah. All right, Some try again. You get two that time. Come on, be from me, fellow. Relenting in it cold demeanor, the cat butts against your hand a couple times. When it eventually hops down from the shelf, it knocks over a book that falls to be very interesting. Gain the banishment spell, then discard the cat. Dirty man. The cat hey. knows magic. Hey, me and the cat could be even friend of the North Cat Lady out there. Alright, and that's your turn, so I guess I'll talk to the banker up here. You will be banquished into cat hell. <clears throat> well, I would like to make a withdrawal. Have you ever been to the wildlife Ball, have you seen anything strange lately? That could be a pretty useful spell, actually. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to ask the banker, have you seen anything strange? Strange things happens all the time, but I will tell you there was a shady character looking around the alley behind the bank the other day. She looked to be the type that wastes time gambling away money. That sort of person cannot be trusted. Gain one clue. Let me see. Have you ever been to the Twilight Ball? Why would you want to know that? I'm curious about the Silver Twilight Lodge. When you mention the Silver Twilight Lodge, the banker looks suddenly fierce. I am proud to be a member of the Silver Twilight Lodge. We keep the city running smoothly. Without us, something might go terribly wrong. While cryptic, the banker's answer reveals much about the Silver Twilight Lodge and their motivations. Gain one clue. Hmm. I thought this was like a... Uh, okay, that's it for me. Uh, just in case y'all hadn't noticed, you noticed that one of the items that CJ has yeah. is the silver twilight dagger. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. I thought it was a deer head, like a deer skeleton head. No, it's a guy chained up. The den of the celebration is louder this close to the start of the parade. Place the street corner three oh and god. storefront tiles as indicated, then displore, discard all site and explore tokens leading to them, which is just a site. This one here. Two different. Uh, this is like it's gonna go like this. Oh, is that a uh, larger one? It may be. 
No, I mean. Yeah, that could be that. Well, it's hard to tell. What and it's not Sport. even in Yeah, it's a, it's the, it's the, it's a big one. Okay, it is this big square one. Yeah. Um, this one's cool. It's useful too. It doesn't even have to be in range. And I can what does it guys. say? Action. Choose a monster or investigator and move that figure up to three spaces away from you. Then flip this card. And it has a rock cover on them as the picture. The paint. The paint. Some of the paintings on this game are really cool. Hmm. Illustrations. Alright, an off-duty police officer is munching roasted walnuts from a paper bag as he watches a parade. Place a person token as indicated. No. Oh. No. Where is that? The very end. Oh. One of the store has a front entirely made of heavy barrel glass, barred glass, and the door is lettered General Store. Place an Explore token. Ah, a wooden placard reading Lending Library hangs over a door at the end of the street. Place an Explore token. Okay. The end of the wide street has the remains of blockade. Place a Search token. Cool. An elaborate parade float turns onto the street and the crowd erupts in a deafening cheer. Place the parade float one tile as indicated. Oh, well, we haven't seen that. Huh? We haven't seen a... <clears throat> I've never seen a tile on top of a tile. The crowd presses close to the float, tossing handkerchiefs, small coins, and confetti onto the parade in celebration. The float rolls slowly forward, and you notice that the people closest to it have it have a stupefied expression on their face, as if hypnotized by the parade. The float is covered in living flowers and the fragrant blooms form a sort of hill up to a high seat near the back of the float. Place a search token as indicated. You're sure that getting closer to the floats will help your investigation, but whatever is affecting the crowd worries you. Perhaps you can get closer if you could somehow stop the float from moving. Okay. Judging from the grinding noises, the motor for the float seems to be located somewhere near the front wheels. Place an interact token as indicated. Alright, that's it. Okay. I'm closest to that. I think I could, I think I could do that in my time. Okay. We'll see. Okay. Jeffrey, you're back way over here. Yeah. Uh, now, which one of these was which? This is a sm oven, and these are just looks like silver twilight paper, papers with silver twilight marked on them. Let me take a look at the papers. All right, you have to do a lore test. Okay. Most of the papers have to do with legal matters, but some have strange diagrams sketched on the back. Okay, two, and... Let's see here. I'm gonna... I think I should go on and just get four. I don't know, it's usually three. All right, let me re-roll this one then, which I can do. Okay, I'll just, yeah. Spend a clue and do three? Yeah. One of the papers has a very accurate sketch of the jeweled tire tiara used to crown the queen of love and beauty every year, the twilight didanium. The diagram and notes indicate that it is a powerful artifact used to harvest and store psychic energy for some unknown purpose. Gain two clues and the incriminating evidence unique item, then discard this search token. Okay. If the twilight didanium item is really as powerful as this document implies, Marianne is in great danger and this year's queen of love and beauty. Perhaps you could find the Twilight Ditem before she is crowned tonight at the Twilight Ball. Okay. And then for my other action, what was this again? The, the stove? oven. I'll go on and take a look as long as I'm here. <clears throat> Leaning closer over the ashes, you notice the smoke smells strange. Observation check. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that was amazing. Don't get that often. Yeah. Smoke clearly smells like sage and a popular two plants well known for their powers over the dead. Gain one clue. Gee, that's not suspicious at all. You are too late to stop the ritual that occurred here, but it would have but it would have been a bad idea to leave the spell smoldering. You spread the ashes out in the grate 
tapping out every last spark to discard the search token. Yeah. That might be some useful thing. Okay. CJ, you're up. I'll move one and then I'll talk to uh, whoever this guy is. Okay. What is it exactly that you sell? Have you ever been to the Twilight Ball? Have you seen anything strange lately? Have you seen anything strange lately? In a momentary lull, the dark headed man answers your question thoughtfully. Actually, something strange did happen the other day. You know that tiara they used to crown the Queen of Love and Beauty? Well, the Silver Twilight Lodge always brings it in here for cleaning before the big event. While I was buffing out the metal this year, I started feeling strange like someone was watching me. I have no explanation. I have never had a case of the nerves like that before. I was able to finish cleaning it, but the banker kindly offered to keep it safe until the ball tonight. Gain one clue. So we know the banker has So yeah, you might want to, it might be in the, uh, yeah. so. You have another action, don't you? Um, move action. Yeah, you, you, you going to stay there or are you going to? You mentioned you were going to try and get to the, you can actually move straight up and be right in front of it. Okay. All right, let me see if I can explore. There might be, I might be able to get into the vault from behind here. Okay. Maybe. <clears throat> you don't like it. Please leave. Okay, nothing to do with him. Okay, so uh, I will move one, two, and then move me one more space forward, and that'll be it for me. Okay, so in, I might be able to reach the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, Mandy Thompson suffers two horror. Will plus one negates. Will isn't my best. The plus one helps. Two was it? Yeah. Pass. Though the nondescript brick wall, an angry spirit drifts into, spree, into the street, sending a chill through the surrounding area. Spawn a wrath, as indicated. Wraith. Have you never seen Wraith? a Dead by Daylight wrath. video? It's a, it's a ghost. Wraith also goes bong bong. Mind. It's one or the other. Wrath would be the same. Wrath. And he just pops up in the middle of the parade. Mm -hmm. I guess people yeah. think he's in costume or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right the there. The <laughs> he doesn't seem to want to. Yeah, I would super glue these things, but yeah, well, the containers, man. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, so put him looking there. Looking at through the windows at me. Well, there wouldn't uh, be any windows right there. Oh my God. Really no one in the crowd reacts to the sudden chill in the air. Their face is placid as cattle. However, the spirit's presence is like needles of ice sinking deep into your flesh. Each investigator within range of the monster. Okay. Uh, it's me and you. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Suffers two face down horror will in the gates. I'll need. Give me another die, Jeff. Yeah. If you spin a clue, you pass. No, it's two face. Two. Oh, okay, yeah. And if I spin a clue, I pass. After you resolve a horror. Ch oh, no, that's not it. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so we both pass. Hey, the same thing. You both have yeah. effects that have been up to you resolve horror checks. Wasn't that hard check? The parade? No. It happened. That's what the monster. Yeah, oh. that was a monster. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I become focused. Okay. And he gains a clue. Yeah. Focused field. <clears throat> it was any investigator within range must roll a hard check. The parade continues to a slow advance down the wide streets. Move the parade float one tile as indicated. I like the way you painted the wraith. Okay. Yeah, I, I want to say y'all will have to stop it to lengthen our time here, maybe, but I'm not sure. It could use up the two spaces to be to adjacent as to many investigators as possible. One, One two. two. Then attacks who has the highest. It's yeah. going to attack me. Yeah. Well, either of y'all are adjacent. No. Well, uh, yeah, depending on how you look at it. Yes. Okay. All, right, so, all right, I have to do a wheel. Uh, agility. Yeah, agility. My agility is four. <clears throat> okay, it looks like I pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we have to do a horror check. Okay. So if I resolve this, I can keep my clue. Yeah. 
All right, perception two. So observation. I was thinking the other one was hard. No, I think it was just. It's that normal mythos. You passed, so you keep your clue. I failed, so. I suffer two horror and I have to discard both my clues. But I did resolve it, so. Yeah, you don't have to. It doesn't say you have to pass it. Yeah. Just that you have to resolve it. But I have to suffer two horror. Let's see what I got. Become mesmerized and flip this card face down. Place darkness in your space, then flip this card place. Uh, flip this card place down. Face down. Now there's just a cloud of darkness in. <laughs> Yeah. At the cafe. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay, you're up, Jeffrey. I'm gonna explore back here. I'm gonna try and get into that vault because that's theoretically yeah. where the uh, crown is. Okay. Place the yard two tile as indicated. Mm, so we're putting everywhere. Yeah. We're using several different sets on this one. We're using police tiles for three different sets. Alright. Yep. Place an explorer token. We would have an entrance that starts in and in a corner, it looks like someone has scratched the words into a path of bare earth. Place a search token. Next to the fragmented fence is a pile of junk. Place the otherworldly compass common item as indicated. You may move one space into the explored area. Normally, I'd say I'm, I'm going to try and pick that up if I've got the extra time, but yeah. getting into the vault, I think, takes priority, so... Let's uh, break into the bank vault. Yes. Okay. I will try. The brick wall is crumbling, but still solid enough to, to not, but still solid enough to tell you strength. If you have a heavy weapon, which you don't. No. no. Okay. No. You could do strength. That's not good because I've only got two strength. But you still strong. One. Okay. <laughs> what does that do then? I don't think it will. Just tapped it. And Usually bank walls are a little bit stronger than Okay, CJ, you're up. Okay, well, I'll go one, and then I'll mess with that interact token. Oh, well, then put yourself on top of the float. Oh, okay. If you can sabotage it, they'll have to deal with that, giving you the chance to... Okay, tap to attempt the puzzle using strength. You may perform two additional puzzle steps if you have a heavy weapon, but you don't. Okay. Okay, so what's your strength? Two. Two. Oh, that's not good. You need to do this. Well, well I don't got a little problem with the wraith, but... It... Okay, wait a minute. I could take on the wraith. I have tons of weapons. And I well, I mean, you're already there. Spells, so. Okay, hold on before you move any, because this, this one looks like a little more complex. Down, yeah. forward. Then move. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. Unless you spin any clues. No? no? Yeah, you need to. Yeah, move that'll one, go down. Two, yeah. three, four, five moves to yeah. finish it. You can do it next turn if you spend one clue. Yeah. Okay. I'll take care of this wraith. I can't. I, I'm okay. I have a lead pipe, though. Alright, so what I'm going to do is <clears throat> move me one space here. And I will attack it with my lead pipe. He has six health. Maybe I'll get lucky. Well, he only does one damage. Observation two. Well, my observation is not great. Damn it. Come on. Nope. One success. Okay. And 
that's it. And let's say, don't forget you're mesmerized. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Move two spaces away from another random investigator. Uh, all right. Do you, don't you have to roll a vague check? Yeah. Um. So I can't do that. Then discard this card. Oh, no, no, you do not have to do an evade check when something forces you to move out of the space. Okay. So I just have to roll to see. I just have to just... Okay, so I'll pick a number 1 through 10, and the one who gets closest will be the one who I move away from. Okay? okay. I picked a number 1 through 10. Ten. You were closer. I was seven. So I move away from you. So I'll move one, two. And you're done with the mesmerize. Okay. Wilson Richards suffers one horror. Discard one clue, then flip this face down. I don't have any clues. Ever 404. Clue not a... Oh. Is that it? No. Okay, the, all right, the parade will move right there. So Just run over it and kill it. <laughs> no one's paying attention it's to it. It's a ghost. It's probably just going to pace through it. Okay, he's going to go here because he's going to be too adjacent to as many investigators as possible. And whoever has the highest observation. I, I have three, so he's going to attack you. Alright, suffer one damage and one horror. Agility negates. So, when do you want to take the one damage or one horror? Horror. You got to read it. News. Keep face up, roll one for your dog or something. It will test, which is fine. I have a little four. Okay, both got to do a horror check. Alright, suffer so three face down horror, influence minus one negates. I can't do this, but I can try to negate. So I take two, two. face down horror. Two face down horror, okay. Face down. Face down, and give me three die. Ugh. Okay, I can discard this one, discard this, which I will come and get it again, basically. Yeah. So I'll suffer two face down horror. One more, I go insane. No, you, oh, that's six. I was writing it as nine. Oh my gosh, well, don't make us lose this don't forget you gain a clue. Okay. Okay. All right, you're... Okay, just... I'm going to move, pick up the compass, and move back. Okay. And then I have a free explore action. So I'm going to work on that wall again. That way, next turn, I'll have three. Strength. Yeah. Nope. nope. I can re-roll one, though. Okay, one success. Nope. CJ? Okay, well, I'm gonna try and do this puzzle again. You can do it if you spin one clue. Yeah. Your sabotage pays off and the float finally halts. You will have more luck investigating in the confusion. Okay, now I will use my other turn to use the banishment spell to make the wrath go one, two, three. No, man, use poison mist on it. Yeah. Okay. You can attack. He's in adjacent space, so you yeah. can attack him. And you've got okay. extra damage and an additional die to roll. Yeah, okay. Lore two. Five and plus get, one, mm -hmm. and I do one additional damage. 
Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Damage plus your test results. You're gonna kill him. Yeah, he's dead. Now flip the spell. The fog forms a hungry face that haunts hunts your enemy. Suffer one horror, then each other a monster in your space or an adjacent space suffers two horror. Right. Here's your whore. Even whore. Send shock. Zav immediately drop two random items and flip this card face down. Okay. Guess I'll drop. Pick one to keep, alright? Yeah, just pick one, you'll keep that one. Wait a minute. Will I drop it on the. You'll drop it where you're at. Yeah. Okay. So, so you drop both daggers where you're at. Thank you. I'll just have to pick them up next turn. Alright, the spirit withers in pain, screeching in articulate rage. Before it fades entirely from this world, a vision of an elaborately jeweled crown consumes your mind. The crown glows and shatters, then the vision fades and the spirit is no more. Each investigator within range gains one clue. Okay, so that leaves you, Chris. Yes, it does. Um... CJ can probably take care of picking up his stuff. One. And, let's say, don't forget whatever it's on. Two. Two. Three. I'll just go back here. Wait a minute. What space were you in this one? Uh huh. Okay. okay. Place darkness in each space in the parade float. Okay. This mythos affect each investigator on the parade float. So it's going to affect you. Actually, hold on. Uh, is there another parade float? It says parade float two. This is parade float one. And there is no parade yeah, float well, two. That looks like the right one, though. It's exactly the same. Maybe it's... Uh... That's the only parade float I saw. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Suffer two face down whore will negates. Well, and I have to take... One, so I'm take three. Okay. You cannot spin the clue. You are in darkness. Well, you have a light source, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can since you so have you clan, So you're fine. Yeah, good thing I didn't drop those candles. Mm -hmm. The parade is temporarily halted, but the Silver Twilight Lodge has several people working on getting the floats running again. Poisonous. Okay. Alright. You're up. Okay. Uh, Let's keep chipping away at that wall. Punk, 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 Pretty punk. much. Strength. Two. Two. That one was my free move, by the way. All right, you got it. Okay. Still have to Inside the bank vault, all is quiet after your noisy entrance. Place a door as indicated to move your investigator figure <laughs> into that space. Yeah. Hopefully that guy didn't hear. They just break through the wall. Probably looking okay. at the parade float. Yeah, and he still has two actions. Though. All right. The man's vault. The vault's main table is entirely dedicated to a box mark. Twilight Fair. Place a search token as indicated. Okay. The banker's yelling for guards and trying to open the heavy vault door. You should take <laughs> care of that bank. The banker does not catch you breaking into the vault. Okay, let's uh, go on and search. Sitting atop the box is a gorgeous jeweled tiara that you recognize from your research into the history of the Twilight Fair. This is the Twilight Ditem, traditionally used to crown the queen of love and beauty. In the silent bank vault, the glittering jewels are hypnotizing. Before you realize it, the crown is in your hands. Gain the Twilight Ditem unique item. Okay. The gorgeous crown feels heavy in your hands. With the, an investigator holding the Twilight Ditem can interact with it in the app. Okay. Well, before I... Inside the box are ledgers detailing financial contributions and work schedules for various members of the Silver Twilight Lodge. Right at the bottom of the box is a set of formal robes and get in a gleaming silver ring. Gain one clue and the membership ring unique item. Don't you have that already? There's more than one of them. Okay. CJ has one. Okay. Then discard this search token. You started the game with it, I thought. No, you started the no, game No, okay. With it. I guess I've got two now, which will probably want to split up some of the membership rings. I'm guessing that, I think they get us into somewhere, but yeah. probably have to. Okay, and I'm gonna use my other action to book it out of that vault. Okay. I think I'll head over here, which I can't do anything else okay. this turn. All right, CJ, you're up. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna pick up my items for okay. the first thing. Okay. Which are rightfully mine. Um, and I will. Oh my god, fire! So you just like setting fire to stuff, don't you, CJ? Okay. Just out of curiosity, why is that interact token still there? Is there anything else we can do to it? Bomb it. Okay, no. They don't. They don't suspect it was the, the person that was bashing it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna explore here. Every table in the cafe is filled with people drinking tea, chatting, enjoying the Twilight Fair from their comfortable vantage point. Discard this Explorer token. In honor of the fair, a large display of sweets has been marked at a discount. Place a search token as indicated. A large banner is displayed over a small bar in the corner. Place a search token as indicated. A little girl is in a frilly dress is staring at the vast collection of confections. She is accompanied by a prim governess. Take a place a person token as indicated. One table only has a single woman dexterously using a knife to clean her fingernails. Place a person token as indicated. That's a bad idea. We move one space into the explored area. You want to talk to the girl or search? I'm going to search. The candy. Candy. Through the candy. Yeah. Go bully with a shotgun. Talk to the little girl. Buy some candy for yourself. Steal some candy for yourself. Buy it. I mean, you have an agility of four. Uh, you carefully select a handful of sweets and leave the payment next to the cafe register. You merely unwrap one of the candle candies and enjoy a brief moment of simple happiness. Discard one horror, which is good. You need to do that. Then discard the search token. I don't know. That's it. Hissing and weaving like a serpent's rope, up right rope rises up to wrap around Mandy Thompson. Agility two. Okay. Oh, pies on. Pass. Oh, All right, you f pass. The parade is temporarily halted, but the Silver Twilight Lodge has several people working on to get the floats working. So stopping, right I'm guessing that stopping the float gives us more time to investigate around so. here. All right. Okay. I'll go on and search that uh, dog or the ground. You got a lore check. You have studied runes just like these and know how to decipher the message. By diadem and flame, be bound to this earth in death as in life. Whoever carved these bound, the spirits of the dead to their will, gain two clue tokens. Okay. It would be dangerous to leave these runes as they are. After a quick glance around, you grab a loose nail and use it to scratch over the runes. Discard the search token. I wonder if that's actually helping us later on because it's getting rid of it. Okay. And then I shall move... Lacking having the incident card that makes it where you have to discard all the search tokens. That would be a nightmare on this. Alright, you're up, CJ. Okay, well, I'll, uh, speaking of search tokens, I'll just Let's see what this one is. Let's see what the flowers. Alright, you have to do a lore check. Sure. Or you just need to spend one. Alright, so you got three successes. Every single plant on this float can be used in arcane rituals to bind the dead or to concoct powerful mind numbing drugs. Gain one clue and the binding powder common item. Then discard this search token. Now that's something I haven't seen before. You can place a restraint. Does that stop monsters or yeah. something? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, so it's like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real witch. Okay, you have a next, uh, another turn. I'll move, I'll get out of here. We'll... Yeah, go that way. We haven't been that way. Okay, alright. <clears throat> um, I'll talk to the little girl, I guess. Where are your parents? Uh, the little girl places her hands on her hips and says, I saw you, you had candy, give me some. Here. You can have a taffy sucker. I'll tell her that. Alright. 
the girl gabs at the top. Okay, I had to do an observation, which is three. She paddles yeah. happily, but it's difficult to understand. Ugh. No. Boy, that was horrible. She's speaking. Uh, giggling, the young girl finishes the candy and runs off into the crowd. Her governor sighs and gives you a polite nod to following the child out. Move this person token as indicated. She is here, was it? Yeah. Well, that kind of stunk. Wait, wait, you can interact with her, I guess? Yeah, probably can. All right, so <clears throat> I'll move here. And nobody's in the vault. Nope. <clears throat> a group of men in identical dark suits enter the bank and immediately realize something is wrong. When they ascertain that what has been stolen from the vault, they speak quickly, quietly to one another and leave in a great hurry. No immediate effect. I wonder who could have broken in there. The lock on the vault door spins open around to the corner. correct position opens. Discard this explore token. The banker steps into the vault ready to accost anyone inside. There is nobody inside. Seeing no one in the vault, the banker glances around to see if anything is missing. Yeah. yeah. When the banker realizes what you have taken from the vault, he screeches an inhuman phrase that twists the air around him. This card, the banker, and spawn a cultist is indicated. I'm going to strand that little girl with my digit. I'm like a witch. I have all the witch things. Are you gonna get, might as well get another cultist. Get two of them while you're there. A road figure enters the abandoned. Uh, what? Uh, spawn a cultist is indicated. Here's one. Okay. I'm glad I went up from there. Here's the other one. I need to. There may be some more. I'm hoping I can find a weapon to use. The, okay. There's a coal shovel over here, but it's the uh, other side of the map. And they're trying to get the floats running again. All right, the first cultist moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. So we have one, aspects, two, yeah. yeah, one, two. Oh no, here they come. And then he will attack. Yep. Suffer two damage, strength negates. Mm, pass. Okay. They only have four health. Yeah, but I'll be fighting one, with my two. fist. But I'll do it. Suffer three face down damage. Will minus one negates. Also, oh, if you need help, just... Okay. okay. Oh, I can re-roll. All right. I can use this at any time. Okay. Spend two clues to pass. Okay. Well, you suffer... Oh, three, so I do take one. one. All right. The monster suffers one damage for each damage you suffer. Okay. So, so he's going to suffer one damage. Yeah, if you need help at any time, I got that banishment spell, which can be used anywhere. Alright, and you have to do a horror check. Okay. Suffer one horror, will negates. Pass. Okay, and you don't have a horror to flip face up, do you? No. Okay. Alright, so you're up, actually. You will be up. Okay. It will be your turn. Okay. I can banish them. I cast I Fist. Okay. Well... You don't have to worry about banishing them. I think he can handle them. They only have four hit points yeah, apiece. It doesn't hurt them. It just pushes them away, which for like some of the big monsters, that might, that'll probably be more yeah. of a hell. All right. Do you want to attack the one you already injured or the one you haven't injured? Uh, I guess I'll go for the hurt one. I'll... Okay. All the dice with you. Okay. I have no weaponry. Influence two. Root, right. Roll two extra dice if you have suffered three or more damage. Only one. What was the roll? Two. Two. Pass. Alright. The monster suffers damage equal to your test results. Two. Oh, wait. Hold on. I can re-roll a die. Okay. We'll re-roll. Okay. It's the three. Okay. Well, that's going to take that monster out. Clutching his wounds, the rope man curses you through clenched teeth. It makes no difference what you do. The binding will happen tonight. He turns to escape, and your quick lunge forward is enough to rip a pocket off his rose plates, the membership ring unique item in the monster space. So we now have enough membership rings for all three of us. I guess so. I'm guessing that this evening yeah. we'll need to get in there and we'll have to have a membership ring to pass by. Hey bro, you got the entire collection. Now that was your first attack? 
Yes, that was my first action. Alright, you want to attack the other one? Sure. Strength two. Uh, that's going to be difficult. Mm, nope. I've already re-rolled. Alright, if you fail... Okay, well, alright. Alright, CJ, it's going to be your turn. Okay. You're all oh. the way on the other side of the map here. I thought you were over here. Oh, yeah. I moved back because I wanted to talk to him. We haven't talked to him yet. Okay. Okay, you talking to the police officer? Yeah. Have you ever been to the Twilight Ball? Have you seen anything strange lately? Have you seen anything strange? The man gives you a hard glance. Not this year, but some of the older men on the force were talking about how someone tried to sabotage a parade about 10 years ago. I would call that strange. Gain one clue. Should okay. I talk to him again or move? I would just move. Okay. Uh, I'd say, well, I would say I'd worry more about here because she specifically oh, told yeah. us about the library. Which you could move there. That has a search token in it. Yeah, well, that's fine. We probably got at least a couple of turns left before they got the. Yeah, I guess we're Well, I was going to say they haven't got this fixed yet, so I imagine that we've got at least at least two turns, maybe three okay. or four. Well, I want to search there. You're in there just and everything. Inspect the punch. I want to inspect the punch. Observation. You never trust a free drink and decide to look a bit closer. Nah. <clears throat> Two successes that time. I bet it's drugged or something. Maybe. It has dead people in it. Alright. Doped with something. Gain one clue. Correct. It's got something in it. You were right. Maybe Judging by how empty the bowl is, people have been taking full advantage of the Silver Twilight Lodge's apparent generosity. If the drinks have been drugged, it is possible that everyone in the crowd has been affected. It's not safe to leave the punch here, so you pour the contents of the bowl down the drain. Discard the search token. I think that these, it might be that getting rid of these will lower the amount of enemies we have to face later. A woman playing with a knife. Have you seen anything strange lately? You know what? Yes, I have. The woman glances around before leaning in close to you. The Silver Twilight Lodge is up to something. Their members have been thick in the streets after the midnight bells doing who knows what. No one will talk about it, but I think it has something to do with the Twilight Dytum. They're keeping in the bank. Gain two clues. Uh, it's not that. anymore. Okay, that'd be the end of my turn. Wait, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. I don't know why these people are attacking me for no <clears throat> reason. Okay, so the men have found a way to resume the slow advance of the parade. Okay, so we do have... From high above, a stone statue plummets towards your head. This mythos affects the investigator in a street or alley. I am the only one in the street. Alright. <laughs> Suffer three damage and one whore. Holy Jesus cow. Christ. Agility I'm minus down, one man. negates. I'm spellmaster, not a Okay, well you have three successes. So, you can take one damage or one whore. Oh, I would take one damage. Oh, yeah, I mean, I only have five max, but... Here you go, you gotta read it. Minor injury. And you become righteous. That was only a minor injury, guys. Statue falling on my head. Minor. Okay. Don't worry about anything. Okay, so... Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it how it's. Okay, so we've got maybe one or two more turns before. All right, the cultist uh, suffer two damage. Lore negates. Uh, pass. If you suffer no damage, you direct part of the spell. The monster suffers one damage. Okay, now you have to do a horror check. Okay. Agility. All you need is one. Pass. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, Jeffrey, you're up. Okay. I'll attack the cultist. This point, it might just be open. Observation 
Uh, Suffers two damage. Okay. So you're going to have to attack it one more time. Yeah. Five will attack. A flick. Agility plus one. Mm -hmm. All you need is one success and it's, it's dead. Pass. All right. The banker wipes blood from his lips with a sneer. Fool, the plans of the Order of the Silver Twilight cannot be stopped. We control more power than anything you can imagine. Suddenly the air turns frigid and the banker disappears with a last laugh. I don't know why these people were attacking me. Laugh so you can get the last laugh. Okay, you're up. Okay, I will explore the library. Library. The research library tile, okay, and a wall. Now I will probably try to come back out and stall the float again. Okay. Yeah. Is that an option? Yeah, I'll, I'll see. You're just a redneck with a redneck with a shotgun and all. Yeah, just some redneck with a shot going. <laughs> God. Hey, get off my float. That'd be my float there. He's in the diner killing cultists with a flashlight. Research library. Yeah. So flashlights didn't exist back then. And realistic. Hurried. Here, I'll let you put it down. I'm too far away. And put a wall there, CJ. And discard the explorer token. <clears throat> a small woman has her back turned to you, struggling to place books on the high shelf in the bookcase. Place a person token as indicated. We this is the librarian. Stacked on the table to one side of the library are several crates covered in dust. Place a search token. You may move one space into the explored area. Sure. Okay, you have another action, right? Yeah, I'll search the uh... Opening the crates, you find they are mostly empty. One of them still has a sheet of written instructions nailed to the inside of the lid. Handle Twilight Didanium with care. The spirits will protect it from all damage. Do not try to meddle with the spirits as they are what makes a twilight item strong. Gain one clue, then discard the search token. Yay. Okay. Alright, so um, I'm going to move one. I was going to say, two. You might uh, check on there to see if we can mess with that again. Well, I'll see. It's still on there, so theoretically. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you could get up there. Okay, so it was one, two, one. I have to put that there. And two, because I know it's going to move forward. Well, you could. It is. Right I don't want to be in darkness. Okay. No, it's actually, that's it. Right there. That's that line. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, when you get up there to try and sabotage it, you'd be in darkness anyways. So yeah, but I don't want to be in darkness on this. this. At the mythos. Yeah. Phase. Alright, the crowd cheers even louder when the next parade float turns onto the street. Place the parade float two tile as indicated. Yeah, that's the one I mentioned earlier, but the only... Must be a glitch. Right. Here we go. Parade float two. <laughs> okay. A fire lit in a brass bowl at the rear of the float casts flickering light over the cow crowd, making it difficult to look directly at whoever is riding the float. Place a person token as indicated. This is the Veiled King. Should I go on that float and try to stop that one? I'm pretty sure I've seen that somewhere. Uh, place an interact token. Should I try and stop it? Here we go. The Veiled King. Okay. Here you go. Okay, here, just put him in the middle of that thing. Whoa, he's strange. Okay, the parade continues a slow advance down the wide streets. Move the parade float one tile as indicated. Uh, so here, right? Yes, yeah, so it's going to go there. There. Uh, it's colliding with the bank. The parade, okay, move that one up a little bit. All right about there. As the float carrying the Veil King passes, the crowd reacts to a strange power emanating from the mysterious figure. Each investigator within range, you're not, I am, this float suffers two face down horror will negates. Well, if you don't get this, you're gonna... I'm gonna go insane. Yeah. Okay, I am focused, so I passed. 
Was that a hard track or? No, that was a uh, yes. fast thing. All right, so you're up. Okay. My wheel here, and I'm gonna search that. I'm headed out there to see if I can do anything else with the float. I guess there's <clears throat> nothing else on this float to do. So I guess we try and work on sabotaging yeah, I might, that I might one. try to work on that one. In all the bustle, you sto stoop to retrieve the discarded paper. While you are close, you overhear a bit of the old man's argument. Back in my day, the Veil King was important. He really struck fear into the children. These days, the whole affair is too happy, too safe. How is such frivolity supposed to keep Ar Arkham strong? The paper is a letter written with a Silver Twilight Lodge letterhead. It reads, Friends of the Silver Twilight Lodge, your services are requested at bread. The Order of Silver Twilight Lodge requires as many citizens as possible to view the Veil King's progress. Be sure nothing interrupts the parade, and as always, the Veil King must not be unmasked. Your service will be noted. Carl Sanford, gain one clue, then discard the search token. Okay. The old men bicker about the Veil King, but the letter chills your blood. The parade must be very important to the Silver Twilight Lodge and whatever they have planned. If their leader, Carl Sanford himself, is calling in favors to protect the Veil King's float, and it might be worth the trouble to disrupt those plans. Okay. okay. Should I go check out? No, nah, I got, I got it. I'm right there. I'm like one, two, and then there. Wait a minute. I can help you because I have banishment, and that can make me uh, move you. Well, that would push yeah, him away from. We you. still need you to talk to the librarian yeah. and all that yeah, stuff. That would push him away from the fault, though, anyways. So I'll never be able to use that. We'll see. This is, there's a huge, big monster. Alright, you want to ask her, do any of the, you have any books on the Twilight Fair? Have you ever been to the Twilight Ball? Have you seen anything strange lately? Do you have any books on the Twilight Fair? That's what I'm going to ask her first. The librarian drops a book she was holding. Oh my, how clumsy of me. Excuse me. Yes, we have many books on the history of the Twilight Fair. She smiles worriedly at you when you stoop to collect the book for her. She's going to whack you on the head. From this book, it sounds like the Twilight Fair used to be a darker sort of festival. The lore behind the Veiled King described him as an omen of terror, feeding on the fear of children. The book emphasizes how important it is to fear that the Veiled King not be unmasked. This book goes on to describe the pagan rituals that precede the fair and how they were performed every ten years to bind a deity of misery to the ruling priest class. Gain two clues. So I'm guessing if possible we need to unmask him. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Alright, that's all your actions, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey. Okay, so move me, move me to the thing. <clears throat> I am headed that way. So you can, yeah, you can, um, can. I want to sabotage it, man. I want to get it there as many times as we can because it won't move. Yeah, yeah, that'll give us a couple of turns. And I have heavy weapons. No, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to Jeffrey. Jeffrey, you could go one, two, I and then when it moves. I have strength. So that'll give me seven steps to try the puzzle. Yeah. I... Oh All right. <clears throat> uh... Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I think I yeah. see what we have to up. do. Yeah, up. Uh, down. Left. Down. Left. Up. And then complete. Because it's on seven turns. Seven turns, yeah. <clears throat> I'd say... Alright, this sab then the float finally halts you have more luck investigating the confusion. Okay, that's it. That's yeah. my turn. That's the next turn I can go after that Veil King idiot. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying Jeffrey might be able to I was gonna say I don't think we need to worry about this float either. anymore. Yeah. I'm gonna just focus on this one. Alright, you are suddenly aware of the awful unstoppable passage of time. Each investigator suffers two face down horror will negates. Oh, Okay, that's it. You're insane. I'm insane. Oh. I pass. Yeah, you, you've had bad luck with horror this game, and unlike usual, we don't have a way to get rid of horror. By you, CJ. Uh, I did not pass, so I get rid of righteous. Okay. You suffer how many? Uh, one. Um, 
Okay, just don't screw us over last second. It's temporarily halted. Okay. Okay, Jeffrey. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay. And I think that's it. For and me. we still have that area over there, too, that warehouse. Yeah. CJ. Okay, I'll talk to the librarian again. Have you seen anything strange? Have you ever been to the Twilight Ball? I could ask her both questions. Uh, how have you ever been to The librarian lifts her chin with pride. Alright, the librarian lifts her chin with pride. Why, yes, when I was a young girl, I was crowned queen of love and beauty. I remember the crown felt very wrong as it pulled at my mind after I learned to be cautious around the Silver Twilight Lodge. Though I am still invited to the ball every year. Gain two clue tokens. I already gave them to so, e oh no, I hadn't because I'd started to, but then fine. Okay, then. So, uh, either have you seen Miss Marianne Chase or will you help us investigate the Twilight Lodge? Will you help us investigate the Twilight Lodge? Uh, Alright, influence. Okay, I'm not too trustworthy. One. Any, any no way to read control? No. Seems too distraught to listen to you. I need to finish this shelving. Okay, I guess not. I guess you won't be able to talk to her anymore. Yep, you kind of pissed her off, so there's no talking to her no more. Yeah, she's okay. probably just too scared of him. I'm going to banish her to the dark okay. room. Okay. I guess I'll move to... Oh, that was your second action. You'd already talked to oh. her once. Wasn't it? Uh, no, that was only one. Case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So move me one space. Can I? A veiled figure is standing in front of the golden throne on the float. Unmasking the veiled king would disrupt the whole parade, and the Silver Twilight Lodge would certainly force you to end your investigation of the parade early. Mm, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We still have that one area we can explore. Now. That is true. Let's see here. But we've got... He's not going to move. We've got a couple turns. Okay. So we've got a turn or two that we could investigate. Yes. We just have to do... I this. can just stay there. Okay. As long as... Yeah, we've got... I want to say bef on the other one, it took, what, two or three turns for yeah. him to fix the uh, flow? Off yeah. Of sabotage? Yeah. Okay. Then I, I guess we could afford... We can to afford to wait. wait one or two more turns. Okay, yeah, because I have noticed that most of these that I've done, it looked like they were some kind of ritual things, and it specifically said it would have been bad to leave it here, so I clear it away. Unless there's one in here. Yeah. Yeah, so there's one, maybe two. Like a poison. Okay, all right, so we'll just end our turn. Okay. I was going to say, you don't have any uh, no. other effects you can do, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. With a whiny light scream, an escaped buggy horse runs right over you. This mythos effect affects the investigator in outdoor space, which is all of us, with no, the most improvement. Isn't there no effect for a reason? Is that for if, if you're not, nobody's in outdoor right. space? All of us all are, of us and are. none of us have any improvements. Okay, so I guess I'll take it since I'm fresh and clean. Okay. Except for you're inside. Yeah. Except for three damage, agility negates. I'll spend a clue. Okay, and you're fine. Uh, Notices your ring and seems affronted by it. All right, you're the only one in the street space with a membership ring, right? Yeah. In fact, I have three of them. Collectors. Are you there? I know you are not a member of the Silver Twilight Lodge. How dare you wear one of those rings? The angry fair patron physically confronts you, attempting to wrench the ring from your hand. Strength two. Pray. Yes, I, I pass. Alright. You pass. Nope, nope, nothing bad. Okay, the parade has temporarily been halted. Okay. So it's your turn, Jeffrey. Okay. Uh, in that yeah. case, One, I'm. Two, three, four. I, well, actually, I could do that. 
and you have a free explore action, which would move you into the yeah. building. The tree there. Four, so and I explore. I was thinking about stopping to get that coal shovel, but this old day okay for now. The store seems to be closed for regular business, but the door opens with a cheerful jingle just to guard this explore token. Mm -hmm. An elaborate display of past fair regalia is arranged inside a store. Place a search token. Mm -hmm. The store counter has several ledgers and photo albums laid out for place a search token. But you may move one space. Okay. okay. Alright, CJ, you're up. Okay, I'll move one and then I'll search this. The remnants of blockade. Amid the remnants of the street blockade, someone has forgotten the tool. Gain the pickaxe common item, then discard the search token. Pickaxe. And you can still move one more space in the building. Oh, yeah, sure, all right. Okay. That'll end it. I'll just stay where I'm at. Well, hold on. I may. You could. I may move off one. And yeah. Talk to the girl. I'll move off one, talk to the girl, and then move back. To that little girl. Onto the thing. Oh. All right. Okay, so you won't be able to. Yeah. Although, you're close enough, you could probably get to here. Well, that old lady, I never talked to her. You probably. Mm -hmm. So, Since put her there. You're in darkness, but unless there's a monster. Have you seen anything strange? Seen anything strange? No, but I have heard some interesting rumors. They say there were some issues with the cleaning of the twilight died him this year and so the queen cannot be crowned until later at the ball it is a sign of lowering standards if you ask me again one clue okay and I guess move me back must be careful All right. okay. okay they found a way to zoom the vents of the parade Wilson Richards I suffer four damage strength negates okay. I'd say so. Just try and beat on that thing again next turn. I will. Or, actually, by the time it gets to your turn... I'll spend one clue. Have all the search tokens. Yeah, by the time it gets to your turn, we should have all the search tokens done. Uh, Alright, I suffer one damage. Drop one random item. I only have one item. Okay. And then flip this card. So put that lead pipe on there. Okay, so right. this one's gone. Or, no, it's right here. It's not gone, but... Okay. Can okay, I move that up a little bit? There we go. Okay. Crowd roof Ancient investigator within range. Shit. Two-faced down horror will negate. This game just hates you. Yeah, it does hate me. I'd say by the time it gets to you, though, we should be done with searching. All right, I gotta suffer one face down horror. Okay. okay. So I'll go on and search here. Jeez, <clears throat> All right, agility. Try again. Let's see. Uh, Wait a minute. Didn't you roll a. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, that was just it from getting bumped. Two more. Tipping the whole case very carefully, the ring tumbles to the bottom. Gain the membership ring unique item, then discard this search token. That's cool. Okay, CJ, you're up. Okay, I'm going to move one, and then I'm going to search these boxes. Alright, paging through the albums, you see a few common threads linking all the recent years into a disturbing tableau. Every queen of love and beauty wears the twilight diadem that seems to gleam with power. Through her eyes are flat and dead in comparison. The ledger stretched back to the very first fair, listing every veiled king and queen of love and beauty every ten years. The name of the queen has been scratched out. The very back of one of the ledgers there is an entry for this year. The line reads, Veiled King Elon Waite, 
Queen of Love and Beauty, Mary Ann Chase, gained one unique clue in the photographic evidence unique I item. Ju I just remembered something we'd forgotten. What? The, I hadn't, there was one of the evidence I have is something I can examine. When you set the ledger down again, a piece of paper flutters to the ground. You see that it is a security box number for the Bank of Arkham and a list of items kept in the security box, including the twilight item. Gain one clue, then discard this search token. Okay, everything you play and you can stop okay. that now. Okay, so you can... Uh, you want to move one more space, Bo, CJ? I'll move back. Okay, so you should be able to unmask him. Right. Unmask the Scooby-Doo villain. <laughs> Something you suspect they're stopping the float. I have to stop it. Okay, again. so it'll have to oh, be stopped. Again. Okay. okay. Uh, you want to pick up your well? Yep. Pick up my crowbar and move me. Shit. That'll take both actions. There you go. No, I don't want to pick up my crowbar. Okay, you're going to do it without. I'm going to do it without. Okay. You have a few clues. I know. I have a strength of five, so give me two dice. Oh, well, this is still puzzle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it the same puzzle? Who's that? Okay, no, this is a lot easier. Easier. Uh, hold wait, on. Wait, wait, no. wait, 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 wait. Move the bottom one over. What? That one down. Ooh, no. Okay. Oh, I see what you had to do. Yeah, I had to move up. And I had to move uh, this one. Yeah. Over. And then I had to move this. this. One down. You'd have to move the other one over first. The, you'd have to move that one there first before doing those other things. You can spend clothes, remember? I know, I know. Headed back towards the float. So I'll, I should be able to. Let's see. I might be able to make it onto the float next turn. We should have one more. I should have turn. Nobody in the library? No. Nope. Nope. Except for the librarian. Who deserves to? Alright. Virginia, I need the spell book for tonight. Deliver it to the lodge immediately. Spawn. I got one. Oh, oh yeah. Put the cultist there. The librarian discard the librarian. She's no, she's a cultist. Well, she's not a cultist, but she's uh, scared of them. Okay, so when the parade reaches the end of the wide streets, the float turns off into a closed area, and the riders disembark. Each figure on the parade float one moves one space away from the parade, then discard the play float one. All tokens on it. That's a song twister. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I suffered two face down horror. Will negates. Will negates. All right. Negates. All right, the cultists move two spaces to towards the nearest investigator. Us. And then in its space, no investigators in its space. Okay. Uh, you do not have to do a horror check. You don't need to resolve a horror check. Okay. No, I know. That'll be the end of the okay. phase. I'm going to let you go first, CJ, because there's a good chance you could kill it with one attack. Well, let me go first. Okay. I can attack it, but I'm still unarmed, so it'd probably take at least, at least two actions for me to kill it if I got lucky. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, who wants to go now? I'll let CJ go first, because he can probably kill it with one spell. I will use my poison mist spell. Okay, so it move you into range. You can't no, use... No, it's adjacent space. I can but you threw it through a door. No, adjacent space, not range. Yeah, he's right. He's right. right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jason, it is adjacent. 
Hey, that works. All right, lore two. Done. I get to. What was that? Okay, and you get an extra die for that, and you'll deal one additional damage for the other one. Okay. What is it? Uh, spells damage or? Equals to the spell's damage. Yeah, okay. Which is three. Plus an additional plus four one. is dead. Then flip it over. And you have to flip your spell. The spell grows too large for you, casting you and barely manage to control it. Each other monster in your space room just basically suffers from one. Damage. Right. Right. You have me and you still have another action, actually. So, you want to move? Uh, yeah. And then I will. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Hmm, this is basically right on the tip there. Nah, it, it's supposed to be up a little bit, so yeah. Okay. There we go. Alright. Okay. It doesn't move. Agatha Crane, you have to do an agility test. Did the star spawn send you? Okay. All right, you fail. Whenever I One have. face down damage. There you go. Two horror. So you got to read these. Become righteous and flip this card face down. Mm -hmm. Right, you. All right, and you're gonna lose it right now. Flashback, resolve me you flip one other horror face up. I flipped the one that gave. Oh, I get to discard this one. I flipped the one that made you righteous. Yep, just and a second then, uh, oh, All this right. one says become righteous. There you oh, go. No, and you gotta become stunned, though. Yeah. I think that means you'll only be able to do one Nine. action or you one, can't two, move. Three, yeah. Two, three, uh, you cannot perform more than a single action. Okay. So As night draws near, without the parade finishing, several members of the crowd become restless. The members of the Silver Twilight Lodge and the crowd are becoming more agitated as the crowd thins. Soon the parade will be forced in, even without finishing. Yeah. With the parade ending soon, you are reminded that you eventually have to infiltrate the Twilight Ball to meet with Mary Ann. The ring she gave you could, could work as an invitation. I'm pretty sure that's our second chance. The parade is temporarily halted, but the Silver Twilight Lodge has... Several people working on it to get the floats that, running that, again. That means it's fixing the end. I say, right. I say okay. you go uh, first. Uh, do you want to go first? I'll go first. If it do does it. instantly end the game. I mean, I can try to do it. Unmask. Will. I only have a will of three. Okay. You do have two actions. Though. Yeah. Okay, one success. Two successes. This doesn't go out. Marshalling your courage, you rip the veil off the figure. Beneath is just a very irate man, nothing supernatural, but you feel energy infecting the crowd break and vanish. Each investigator within range may discard one whore. I'll discard I will discard one. Afraid nerves. I have no horror. Okay. Wait, so now look. As the man sputters in rage, you see the crowd murmuring in confusion of figures and dark robes closing in on the float. You have successfully disrupted the parade and the Silver Twilight Lodge is not happy about it. It would be best to leave the area with the slight <laughs> comfort that you have started a, to foil their plans. Hijack the parade float. Get out of here and stop. You have only until the end of this investigation phase to prepare for the Twilight Ball. Well, okay, I've, I've done my two actions. Oh, no. uh, Wait a minute. Prepare for the Twilight Ball. Is there anything you can do? Wait, I can go one, two, and... Sure. You can grab one of his rings. Yeah. Was... Okay. Give me your ring gonna... and I'll give you... I was going to say, you could have talked to uh, the officer. I right? did. I talked to him earlier. Oh, I th did he? Okay. Did you ask everything? No, but okay. he didn't have much to say. You can come give me a ring. Okay. I can do that. That's me. I going to say, you're going to leave your lead pipe behind? I have no choice. Okay. Unless you want to... I was going to say, could... I actually There's do have enough... To get to the coal shovel and pick it up, but then we'd have to wait till this evening to give you a ring. Yeah, okay, do that. No, wait, wait. What if he won't let him in because he doesn't? Have well, him? well, we got plenty. I think coal it'll shovel. let us in because I'm have, a strong dude. That thing, man, I can be a, a freaking a blunt bit. object with that thing. Yeah. I had four uh, rings, so now you've got one, and I've still got three more. Oh, 
Okay, well, no, that's fine. I still need to look at, there's still a piece of evidence I can examine. I think the diatom. Yeah, I think I so just too. keep forgetting about it. Why is the first book so long? They got it started back. As the float carrying the Veil King passes, the crowd reacts to a strange power emanating from the mysterious figure. Each investigator within range suffers two face down horror. Which I'm not. Wheel negates. I thought it, we only had till the end of the investigation. I thought we did too. Maybe it meant the next one. Okay, I have to suffer two face down horror. I know. Now that the prey is over, the crowds are celebrating people clear the streets. You overhear a few excited conversations speculating what will happen tonight at the Twilight Ball. You resolve to meet with Marianne there and share her and all you have learned. Clear the board. Remind me, the first thing I'm doing is examining that right. diet. As a group, you try to plan how you're going to meet up with Marianne. The ring she left with you should gain a the wear access to the Twilight Ball. The investigators may trade possessions at this time. Okay, I will give you the membership ring. Okay. Do you want the coal shovel? Yes, I do. Okay. Anybody up for a pickaxe? Uh, I mean, if you're not going to use it, I'll take it. Give him the pickaxe. Yeah, give him the hat. She, he needs a weapon. I got dual wielding daggers. You got daggers. Okay, you're no longer righteous. You're no longer stunned. Wait. Oh, yeah. Just righteous in the end. Or was that? No, no, you're still righteous. It only happens when you, when you suffer one horror. Okay, all investigators have a membership ring. Yeah. Alright, the mansion hosting the Twilight Ball is lit up like a carnival. Every bright window showing glimpses of the opulence inside. Place the yard one tile as a... Okay, see here. Uh, place and explore. The front door is well lit. Place and explore token. Alright, a burly gentleman by the door is checking invitations. Place a person token as a bouncer. I didn't hear no invitations. That's what the rings are. Oh. Alright, a table on the lawn is littered with discarded belongings. Place a search token. You arrive at the Twilight Ball. In your best costumes, each investigator with a membership ring places their investigator figure as indicated. While the Arkham Elite gossip into the night, you must find Mary Ann and stop whatever sinister plan the Silver Twilight Lodge is carrying out. Not fully done. Okay, okay Jeffrey. Uh, first, I'm gonna I sh have that piece of evidence I can examine. I think it's the diatom. Alright, the diatom has started to hum quietly. If you listen closely enough, it seems like the crown itself is calling for something or someone. Gain one clue. Okay. That's it. Is there anything else I can do with it? Mm -hmm. I mean, if I click again, don't. Okay, I guess it's waiting for a specific thing. Okay. Uh, I guess I shall. We've already done all the training we need to do, yep. so. I guess I'll uh, talk to uh, Butler. The burly gentleman by the front door is checking invitations. Okay, interrogate the bouncer or befriend the bouncer. I'll befriend him. Alright, you have to do a wheel check. Well, that doesn't seem right. That was not Three successes. You are able to feign enough interest in the bouncer stories that he unwillingly shares an interesting insight with you. The owner of the house let the queen use his own bedroom to prepare. She's upstairs right now preparing for the coronation. Gain okay. one clue. So we know where she is. Alright, CJ, you are up. Oh, hold on. I still have a free action I can use to uh, explore the front okay. door. I forgot about that. Alright, the front hall of the mansion is gleaming from a recent cleaning. Place the lobby tile and walls as indicated, then discard all explore tokens. I'll put this there, leading to it. I'm coming in with a shotgun. You're gonna let me in this party. Or I'm gonna blow you away. Uh, yeah, I think it goes like that. We're FBI members. Let yeah, I know. forgot I had that. I'm quite happy. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, it's a reverse. That makes me upset. Gotta save right. All right. A side table Nas, a guest book open for people to sign. Place a search token, as indicated. A kid in a uniform is offering the guest shoe shines in the entrance hall. Place a person token, as indicated. Yeah. All right. Far behind a closed door in the hall drifts the sounds of muffled conversations. Place an explore token. Another door in the hall has music being played behind it. Place an explore token. And another door in the entry hall leads to the mansion's upper floor. Place an explore token. Well, we know that'll probably be where the bedroom is at. You, you, we'll... you, uh, you have an influence of four because you have that shock value, right? Yeah. Okay. A member of the Silver Twilight Lodge enters the hall from the upper floor, tucking a gleaming key into a pocket in her robe. She is soon engaged in polite conversation with two women in a plumed mask, and the two disappear into the western room for conversation. Okay. A large place of a barricade. Oh, barricade. She knows. I've seen that in a while. Yeah. Alright, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You may move one space. All right, TJ, you're up, buddy. Okay, I guess I'll move down one. Okay. Search whatever this is. All right, gain the rope unique item. Hmm, that'll probably be useful. And you'll move one space yes. back. Yes. Okay, we'll move one space back. Okay. I will move inside as well, and I will search. On the table, the guest book. And I have to do a wheel check. Right. Was that a, was the rope a unique item? Mm -hmm. I thought it said it was, but. I have it, I have it. Who has it? Action. You attempt to restrain the suspect. Strength two. If you pass, flip the card and give it to another investigator in your space. Okay. Well, I can't really use that because my strength is good. Okay, um, ah, ugh, I have nothing, so zero. Wait, well, you've all in your name with flourish. You snap out of a strange daze. Even the depictions of the twilight item seem to hold power over people's minds. Gain one clue, then suffer from one face down horror. Then this card, this search token. Okay, um, I'm actually going to move another space. Here, since I only moved one. Okay. <clears throat> That'll be the end of the phase. Okay. Hopefully we'll get a couple of turns. All right, who has the highest influence? I have four. Four. Okay, so one of us. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. I can take stuff for more okay. than you. Observation two. Okay. I've got past the influence on the Pass. Okay. Alright, no problem. Uh oh, I spawn a cultist as indicated. Wait, are we gonna have to fight him? Why? Well, you'll have to fight him. Just blast him. Alright, he moves into your space. But I'm a cultist. You can't hurt me. I'm a cultist too. How do they know who we are? I don't know. Strength these... two. What? Okay. Buddy, I spent 15 years in getting Okay. If you fail, suffer one damage. There you go. And become restrained. Minor dream. Oh, I. Oh, now that means you can't move. Yeah. Right? She's going to regret that when she gets poison mist down her lungs. He, she. Okay. And now there's a horror check. Lore one. TJ, you have to do a horror check. You should be able to pass that. Uh, it's been a clue to do it, oh, but yeah. On. You gained a clue because you resolved a horror check. Oh, yeah. All right. <sighs> okay. I shall. Okay. Now, I would go on and head upstairs, but. It mentioned that the, that somebody the, had a key or something. Yeah. So I guess. I still think maybe maybe the keys to someplace else. 
Because wouldn't girl open the door for you and let you in? If she's in the bedroom she getting ready? She could be locked in, though. She might be trapped in there. Because she didn't seem too willing at the beginning of this. So uh -huh. I will move. I have my free action to explore. All right, a large ballroom is set up to host the Twilight Ball. Elegant couples dance to wailing brass horns, and a lavish spread of food is set up along one wall. This card, this explorer token, place the ballroom tile, a wall, and a door as indicated. I got the correct ones. Okay. Elegant couples place a, and that's for one pair catches your eye, place a person token as indicated. All right, so the piano goes here. Alright, so move your dice there. Alright, so we move these. We got a wall. A door. And another wall where? Um, I don't know. One there. I guess covering that door right there, that'd be the only logical place. A band playing for the dancers is gathered around a polished grand piano where a surprisingly young musician is playing a lively ragtime tune. Place a person token as indicated. Oh, I just now noticed I accidentally got In one corner, a group of women in elaborate feathered masks are engaging in a loud debate. Place a person token as indicated. One of the ballroom hosts a long table full of lavish food. Place a search token. I know. I guess it does go there. So place an explore token there. You may move one space into the room. I do. Okay, so I'm here. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, so you had your free action, so okay, you still on. have. Oh, action. I see the problem. Hold on. This actually goes here. Okay. Okay, so I'm actually here. Uh, let's see. And uh, now the I believe it mentioned the woman that came downstairs was in the mask and went yeah. to talk with others. So I still have a movement point from my other one. So I move here, and for my other action, I talk with her. Join the debate. Interrogate the woman. I'm gonna join in the debate. Alright, you have to do an observation check. Okay. One, two, three. Three. You perfectly time your witty comment in a full in a lull in the conversation. However, the woman merely looks you over curious, then return to their lively discussion, becomes stressed. Mm. However, before you turn away, one of the woman's passes you heard, you heard car, you hear car convertly. The text on it, Miss Deming, order of the Silver Twilight Lodge, gained two clues. Okay. 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 So that was all for me. So yeah. CJ. Okay. Well. Gonna blast that guy into oblivion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, so you're attacking with your spell, right? Yes. Just don't die. He well, only has four health, so. Lower two. Um, if it's the backlash that I'm worried about. Spin a clue. <laughs> yeah, this oh. Ah, uh, you don't have to. You don't. Yeah, you don't have to spin the clue. Up. It just flipped when I pulled the. Uh, oh, yeah. you're righteous. So you can convert it any ones you want, anyways. Okay. Okay. No one wants to. All right. Uh, equal to the spell's damage. Two, three. With plus one when because of your dagger. Oh, yeah. I forgot to roll an additional five. Okay. Well, now you have to do the back of the spell, my friend. Friend, I'm your son. You coughing spiders and lose all your trouble. You and each other investigator in space and resistance suffers one face down damage, then the monster suffers one additional damage. And each other monster in your space or an adjacent space suffers two damage. Then the scarred scarred. Okay. Alright, so you have another action? Uh well I can't move. 
You might maybe talk to the butler again. That's the only thing yeah, you can sure. do. Yeah. Just on the floor. See if he'll talk. No. Crap. Well, well then, actually, hold on. There is some. Well, it'd be risky at this point, but you could cast your banish spell on Chris and move him in. Which way were you heading? Were you heading down here? I want to talk to the person at the table. Okay. Okay. Um, just Okay, I guess that'll be the end of the turn of your turn then. Oh yeah, I'm, 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 how many did you talk to get a shoe shine maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna get a shoe shine. Okay. Get a shoe shine. Probably just wasted a turn. Become As a boy focused. quickly but, but become focused. Uh, okay. I'll do that. But maybe I grease the wheels with them here. I have to get back to my job. Okay, well I guess not. Shit. Okay. Hey, at least you got your shoe shine. I got my shoe shine. So I was 50 hobo <laughs> with a shotgun here. Um, okay, I'll move. I'm gonna go upstairs anyways. I'm gonna okay. check it out just in case. Okay. I'll head that way. Maybe clear the area or something. The ball is in full swing and the crowd is gossiping and chatter amongst themselves. This mythos event affects each investigator in the ballroom. That will be me. All right. All right. You overheard several conversations that strike you as odd. One elderly lady seems to be talking about the medical benefits of drinking goat's blood. That might be me. Another young man is recounting in glory in gory detail how he had to slaughter his prized racing horse after it lost its third race. The subject matter turns your stomach. Suffer two face down damage. Will negates. No, I only uh. Have one. Okay, one face down damage. What? Then flip two horror um, face up. I have none. All right, you're up, Jeffrey. Oh yeah, and I get rid of this. Okay, okay. you are no longer restrained. Okay. Uh, can I talk to them again? Let's see. No. No. Okay, in that case. Okay, I'll talk to her. May I cut in? Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to do an influence test. See if she'll dance with you. Dance with me. Please. Two. What, can you re-roll? Uh, my stress would basically just negate it. Alright, the masked woman smiles and nods her assent, shows you a few new tricks Become before returning to her previous partner. Become focused. Okay, do you want to move anymore? Yes. Okay, yeah, so neither move action. Yeah, so neither of those were apparently the one I was looking for. I don't. That was food, right? I think so. Yeah. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'll just move back down here, and I almost forgot I do have that free explore action. Okay. Oh yeah, you have the storage room has many crates stamped with exotic postage and several strange artifacts. Discard this explorer token and place the warehouse tile as indicated. Yeah, I like some of the spells. The spells have really good artwork and they have cool effects. The artwork on this game alone is enough to sell it. Warehouse. A sheet has been tossed over a large object in the corner. Place a search token as indicated. <clears throat> in the back corner of the room, you see a rustle of movement. A young girl is hiding behind a rack of coats and robes. Place a person token as indicated. Little girl. You may move one space into the explored area. I do. Okay, CJ, you're up. I'm okay. also no longer stressed. One. Oh, where should I move to? I, 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 I don't know. Well, no think. one's gone into here yet. Okay, well, I'll try. Okay. And then I will turn this book. Yeah. Right. Oh my god. A lavish lounge is filled with party guests and masks chatting over sparkling crystal glasses. Place a lounge token tile. That's a lounge tile. It's indicated and discard all explorer tokens leading to it. It's not as big as a All right. 
In the center of the lounge, a group of people have gathered to speak with a man dressed in elaborate robes of academic. Place a person token as indicated. Now that's odd because I was sure that mentioned the lady that went through here with a keys. Maybe I just didn't get a good enough roll. Okay. I've started to make you guys home for the actual. Alright. A man standing alone by the bar looks enigmatic with his dark pointed beard. Place a person token as indicated. This is the proprietor of the magic shop. Okay. A desk in the corner supports a large decanter of wine. Place a search token as indicated. And a plain door leads to a storage place. Base. Place an explore token as indicated. You may move one space into the explored area. Yeah, that's it for you, right? Yeah. Alright. I will hit that. Alright. A staircase is sheltered from the noise of the party. Both the stairs and the second floor seem empty all of, of all guests. Discard this explore token and place the hall stairs tile on a door as indicated. Okay. All right, the door at the top of the stairs, a pool of light is leaking out from behind a closed door. Place an explore token as indicated. The only other door on the second floor has ornate gold fittings. Place an explore token as indicated. You may move one space, which I will do. One space. Okay, and then um, I will move there, and that's it. Ooh. Light source. Candle. All right. Each investigator with a light source. Candle. That's only you, then. I hope this thing don't start fire at the place. <laughs> You're probably going to have to put out a fire. So you just the flame flares brightly, spitting oh sparks and embers suffer three face down damage. If you negate all of it, you won't have to do with fire. Agility plus one negates. Uh, please. One, oh my two. god. Yeah, you were close. Any, nothing else you can do? Nope. Nothing. Alright, you have to suffer one face down damage. And put fire. That's going to make you wounded, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that that yeah, we've just had bad luck it seems with those light sources. Too hard pick up with <laughs> wounded guards. Okay. I Drop know. the light source. Yeah. By the way, I had no face up damage. Face up damage. You place a fire in your space. Mm -hmm. Starting, CJ. I know we're here to stop this, okay. but burning down the mansion <laughs> full of people is not always the answer. Uh, okay, uh, Jeffrey. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll talk to the creepy little girl. Creepy? You're the creepy one here. You're talking to the little girl. All right. She's comforter. The young girl blinks up at you. Earlier, I got a taffy sucker at the parade. I like candy a lot, but the food at this party tastes bad. Mom is too busy dancing to play with me. Will you stay and play with me? Sure. What could possibly go wrong? You teach the child a game you loved when you were her age, and the laughter seems to remove a weight from your shoulders. This card one damage or, or horror. Wow. Okay. After a while, the girl beats you at your game. Grinning, she holds something out for you to take. Here, I found this. Thank you for playing with me. Gain the gold key unique item, then discard this person token. Okay. And that was only one action. Yeah. Uh, let me grab the gold key. Uh, I guess as long as I'm in here, I should go on and... Well, I don't have another action to do it this time. Alright, but... right, CJ. Well, I, I think I'm going to extinguish this fire before it gets out of hand. Okay. Are you going to pick your candles back up? Yeah. Or move? That's what I was going to do. Okay. Yeah, he has to move. Okay, you can spend one clue. Okay. You can put... Well, you actually don't have to spend a clue. Get that clue back. You're righteous. righteous. Right, you was. Put the fire out, but you have to move. Do you have to move? To put no, fire? because it was in my space. I'm telling you, you have to move. It was in my space, though. Do I have to move if it's in my space? Okay, yeah, I guess not. I yeah. guess not. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to move yeah. if it was in it. Yeah. Jason's okay. space, you'd have to move into it. Alright, so I'm up. Okay. Let me try this door. Uh, 
Oh, it opens. Okay. This room is lavishly decorated with hunting trophies. Discard this explorer token and place the lounge tile in a wall as indicated. Oof. Nice to see for a skin rug. Uh, put a wall here. Okay. Nice you, Alright, a room is filled with various displays and artifacts. Place a search token as indicated. Ooh, a man slumps in one of the armchairs drawn up to a freaking fire. Head, I got him. Sands. The mask of the Veiled King lies on the floor at his feet. Place the Veiled King as indicated. That could be either good or very bad. Alright, I can place a barricade. You may move one space. So you've still got another action. Yep. Let me see what the deal is with him. The man is softly softening into his hands. He does not seem to notice you. Comfort him or interrogate him. Man with shark on uh, to You've got you. four uh, influence suits. Comforting might work. Yeah. Man with shark on wants to comfort you. Yeah. Shark on should be very comfortable. Hey. Mm -hmm. Three successes. It's rare to see a good roll in this game. Blinking tears from his eyes, the man recovers himself. Thank you for your kindness. I had no idea that the order would. I did not know. I regret everything. What is the Silver Twilight Lodge planning? They do this ritual every 10 years, and all they told me was that something awful would happen if we failed. I volunteered to be the Veiled King and was so honored when they picked me, but as soon as the parade started, I felt something else take over my body. It was horrifying. I can still feel it inside my head, and the spirits are so angry. They cannot escape once the diadem claims them, even after death. The man lapses into sobbing again, gain two clues. The only way out is to burn it all. It is, those, <laughs> it is the least I can do to atone. Oh With those words, words, the man tosses the man, got the Veil King into the fire, no mm. immediate effect. Okay. Oh, okay. uh, why did it say no immediate effect when it's not even one of those ways? Well. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, he's, so he's burning the costume up. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's it for me. Okay, so basically, I think the big thing left is to get to uh, what's her name. Yeah. Although they're fire extinguished. Yeah. A low keening in the distance grows louder. Mandy Thompson is suddenly face to face with the specter of a woman wearing a shining didadium. All right, so you have to do so for three damage. Strength the gates. Well, I'm gonna be taking some. Take three. Wow. Okay, here's one. Fix it. Yeah. Minor injury, no effect. Number two. Back spasm. Drop a random item, then flip this card face down. Okay. Drop the membership ring. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea. Hopefully, yeah, it won't be the king or the diadem that's. I can choose. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, my otherworldly compass, which at this point... It, it ain't too useful. Okay, That's and minor injury, no effect. Now you still pick it up. That might still come in handy. Yeah, we've got two... It's your turn, as a matter of fact. Okay, well, <laughs> first I'm going to search this. Okay. A large object is contained under a sheet. Pulling back the sheet, you find an unnatural lifelike mannequin. Gain the convincing dummy comment item, then discard the search token. I don't know. Oh, I, I feel like we're setting up a trap. What does that do? Uh, act as an action place of restraint in your space. Okay. We've got a lot of those this game. Yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, I haven't so. seen that. Okay, yeah. Uh, so you get rid of the search token. Okay. You think it'll still be useful? I don't see why not. Okay, I'll we're go on and pick it up those. then and. Then next turn, I'll head towards you, CJ. Well, I don't feel I don't feel like talking to people will do much, but I still will do it. Uh, I'll go here first, though. Yeah, I search. Unless the, there's uh, a wine. Uh, unless there's a different key. Mm -hmm. Observation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
This me, might help you get rid of some, some of your insanity. Me female, past the age of 15. You won't mind. Okay. Okay, baby. You don't, you're righteous. You don't have to spend a clue. Oh, yeah. Oh, Two successes. Fortunately, you have a very delicate sense of smell. Otherwise, you would have missed that the wine has been laced with something. You assume it has kept the party guests from noticing anything too out of norm. Gain one clue, then discard the search token. <laughs> You've still got another movement point. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll move here. Okay. Well, I'm going to move here. <sighs> Many of the displays. Mounted on the wall, a gleaming firearm catches your eye. Embossing the grip, you see the symbol of the Silver Twilight Lodge. Gain the 41 common der Derringer common item, then discard the search token. Okay. So now I'll move back there. Okay, I think things are fixing to start getting serious. Because we've been in here for a few rounds. Let's see. Alright, an investigator with the most weapons. I have two weapons. I have two Got weapons. one. I guess it affects both of us. No, we have to choose. Uh, uh, let's see. You're insane. Oh, Chris is I'm insane. Wounded. He's you're wounded. <coughs> I two like more I insanity and I go insane. I I, like we you, lose the game. Oh god, yeah. Do me because I feel like it'll be an uh health or suffer three damage, will yeah. negates. become mesmerized. Okay, so you only suffer one damage. One damage. There you go. You gotta read it. Oh. Minor injury. Only flesh. Okay. Minority. Okay. Alright, one of the members of the Silver Twilight Lodge yeah. sings out three harsh words and the temperature drops. Spawn a wraith as indicated. Right here. Wraith moves two spaces towards the nearest vet. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I need to see something. Phasing. This monster can move through impassable borders and walls. So it'll be attacking me. Alright, so he moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. So one, put him in, uh, yeah. One, two. Okay. He's a ghost. Okay, that's not good. Alright. Suffer two damage. Agility plus one negates. Agility plus one? Yeah. For how much? Two? Pass. Mm -hmm. Okay. You suffer no damage, so you don't become dazed. Now you have to do a horror check. Okay. This ain't good because I'm s I might I can probably I might be able to kill him next Suffer turn. two horror will negates. But Okay, so you suffer one horror, and you got to read it, and then you become stressed again. Minor shock, no effect. Okay. Okay. That does mean I can't move forward and get that key to up there. No, yeah, that's fine. We'll figure it out. Okay. All right, well, you're up. Okay, I attack. What are you attacking with? Uh, pickaxe. Heavy weapon? Yeah. Influence two. <clears throat> One, two, three. Stop. All right, suffers three damage. Well, then I. Oh, was it two? Okay, then I only needed to spend one. Okay. Okay, and you'll have to attack again. Yeah. Influence two. Okay, Got it. Three damage. So you killed the specter. As the specter fades from this world, it seems to regain some of its former humanity. Her faint voice whispers a warning in your ear. Hurry, if Marianne is crowned, she will become just like the rest of us. Please, there is not much time left. Each, each investigator within range of the monster gains one clue. I don't see how she can be crowned since I have the crown. Yeah, listen, I feel like unless they have a people, spare. I feel like the only thing talking to people is going to do is give us status facts. So okay, well, I don't know. Well, you, can, you could uh, look and see yeah, what's that's, through there. that's what I'm doing. Yeah, other than that, it's pretty much heading towards the uh, end. Let's see what's in here. Coat closet. 
Alright, yes. cloak closet is packed with the fancy outwear of many party guests. Place a storage room tile and a door is indicated. Then discard all explore tokens. Set their clothes on fire. I'll try not to. And try. Oh, oh my god. Spawn a cultist. Looks like. Surprise! Well, yeah, Why is it attacking us? You've what? still got another action, so you could blast them with magic. Ah, alright. And a search token there. And a small yard, so we have to place an explore token. You may move one space into the explore okay, area. I'm good. Okay. You do still have uh, another action. Okay. Well, no, he doesn't. He moved. Oh, I thought he was already in that spot. Nuh-uh. No. Okay. Alright, so I will move one and explore there. Nope, have to have the gold key. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm gonna. Okay. Well, that's fine. Two, I'm gonna come try to meet you halfway. Three, four. Okay. Alright. Two face down damage and two horror. Ugh. Will negate. Wow. You were mesmerized. Place a fire in your space, then discard this card. <laughs> I tried not to light a fire in the storage closet, and I'm not in the storage closet. Well, look at the light side. When the uh, cultist moves in there, he's going to take a damage. What? Honestly, I'm going to. Okay, well, all right. That's fine. I'm focused, so I succeed three. So I have to discard which one I want to do. I will so I will not take any horror and I will only take one face down damage. Okay. And then become dazed. Become or dazed, flip, then flip, flip three, three horror face up, which I have. Flip one damage face up, then flip this card face down. Oh, shit. Drop two random items. So I will keep the membership ring and I drop these two random items. Flip one damage face up. Didn't I just do that? Yeah, so I have to flip this one up. Okay, back spasm. Drop a random item. Yep, so I've dropped all my items here. Okay. Well, at least you can pick them Minor all back. shock. At least you can pick them all back up. Yeah. I feel like we're going to lose this one. Done. Depends on what else happens. Alright, the cultist moves two spaces. So he's going to move in here. And of course he's going to take one damage. And he attacks. Agility one. Pass. Okay. All right, and you have to do a horror check. Cool from this. Mm -hmm. Suffer so one horror, will in the gates. Then flip one horror face up. Okay, pass, then you flip one horror face up. I'm pretty sure this was the one that made me righteous. Yep, but I can't become righteous twice, so all it does. No, that's fine. You suffer the horror, you lose it, oh, and then yeah, you become well, righteous okay. again. Hey Jeffrey. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. And that's all for me. See that? Okay, well, I will. Oh, and I'm no longer stressed. Oh, would I need an evade check to get rid of the fire? Y yeah. Yes. Okay, well, I'll evade. But if you can kill it, if... now, does it happen? After he takes any action in there, or only at the end of his turn, that he would take damage from fire? No, he takes it at the beginning of his turn. Okay, so he takes damage before he does anything else. Unless he's going to try to put it out, which he has to do an evade check to try to do. Okay. 
Okay, so let's do the evade. Influence yeah. two. <clears throat> okay. Ah, uh, you pass. So now you can try to put the fire out. So you have to do an agility test. Pass. So that's one action. Okay. Now you can attack. Okay, I will attack. Is magic or magic? Spell? Yes. Lower two. That's one extra damage, plus I get yeah. one additional life. Stop, Paul Creighton! Ah! Okay. Okay. You killed it. Mm -hmm. yep. Now you have to do the back of the spell. Oh, yeah. Gas blows from your upraised hand. You cannot see spell. Suffer one face down horror, then the monster suffers one additional damage. And each other monster in the is ever stood Okay. There you go. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to pick my items back up. Put this in the stick because I'm not righteous. Which I needed. Rich. I will move one, two, and I'm done being dazed. Hmm. Suspicious. Suspicious. Suspicious indeed. I think I have an idea. Wait, you uh, each investigator in the stairs. There's nobody in the stairs. Probably would fall or something. A cultist. Oh. I'll let y'all oh, take care like, of that. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus gonna, Christ. You want some too? I was, was going to say... Uh, he too. Put him in your space. Oh, do Oh my god. Look. Wait. Well, never mind. Look at it. Low, a wheel too. Will do, will yeah, they're in almost the exact same pose. Uh, if you pass, you block out. No problem. The gas is passing. But you will have to do a horror check. Which will get you another... Uh, Alright, suffer so one face down damage and one face down horror. Lore plus one negates. Okay, fine. Okay, looks like you passed. Yeah. And there's your foot. Jeffrey? One, two, three. And you now, explore for free. I gonna, yeah. Now, I was going to say there's one thing I'm slightly worried about. What's that? Uh, which, remember uh, it said she has to be crowned for the bad stuff to happen? Yeah. I have the crown. Well. Okay, let's see if it happens. Mean you put it we'll on. explore. Why would you just put it on? Well, I wouldn't, but it might be magic. Alright. This card is in place the bedroom tile as indicated. Oh my god, there's a dog! Uh, which symbol was that again? The, this one. The one with the three keys. Like a key ring kind of. I was thinking that would become more like a mountain with a circle behind it, but I can see a key ring. Now that you mention it. Well, everybody has their own. Yeah. Bedroom it was? Yeah. Interpretation. Well, yours is probably what it actually is. I mean, why would the mountain be in I mean, oh, well, it kind of makes sense if you're talking like, uh, Cthulhu. Because Cthulhu lived on a mountain, for sure. Actually, I think he's more from un under the sea type. No, I'm pretty sure he came from the mountain. The original story, I think. Could be. I, I have her token. <clears throat> Standing warily by the back wall is Marianne Chase. When she recognizes you, she drops a silver candlestick she had hidden behind her back. Place Marianne as indicated. Before you can speak, Miss Chase interrupts. You finally, they had me locked up all day. We need to leave immediately, but I doubt well, they'll just let me walk out. As soon as Mary Ann speaks to you, the twilight didatium surges with energy. Mary Ann seems to be linked to the didatium. Perhaps she holds the key to unlocking its secrets. You may move one space into the explored area. And I think that's it, right? Uh, yeah, that yeah. takes both my actions. Okay. That means that next turn, I'm going to examine that didatium again. Okay. CJ, you're up. Okay, well, I'm gonna attack the uh, cultist with poison mist. 
I will be back in just a moment. Just a moment. Okay. Lore two. Different this time. Okay. Lore plus one. Succeed. So you're gonna kill him. So you have to flip the spell. Gas plants to your enemy skin, causing it to bubble and blister. The monster suffers one additional damage than this card. Alright. And then you still have another action. I'm gonna search. Oh, hello. One. Okay. Okay, I'm there, so I'm gonna search this. Inspect the food. I'm gonna inspect the food. Observation. Uh, uh, I get one success, because I'm focused. You. Convinced the food has been doped with something. Gain one clue. Judging by how empty some of the dishes are, some people have been taking full advantage of the buffet. If the food has been drugged, it has been possible that everyone at the party has been affected. It's not safe to leave the food out, so you surprise it, super persistently scrape the plates off under the tablecloth. Discard the search token. Okay, and then I have another action. And I guess I'll move. Have we talking to all these people? Let me see. Uh, I've talked to some of them. Okay. Yeah. I haven't talked to the guy. Okay. So I guess I'll move into his space. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Yeah, I think I. Okay. We might have been too late. In the distance, you hear sudden screams and howls of rage. The sound is gone as soon as it begins. This mythos effect events the investigator with the lowest will. In the space with the most investigator, so. What? Uh, I have three will. I have three will. I have four will. Okay, so it'll be one of us two. I guess I'll take it. I can probably take more sanity damage than you at least. Suffer so two horror, will minus one negates. Will minus one? Yeah. Okay. The clock ticks down to the wee hours of night, and you do not have much time to finish what you set out to do. The ball will be ending soon. Okay. I'm pretty sure inspecting it won't do much. Okay. That's, well, that's <coughs> okay. I'm gonna look at the diadem. Destroy it. Destroy it. All right. Eliminated by a spell. I do not have a spell, unfortunately. It's, it can only eliminate. Yeah, roll two additional dice. Okay, if you have a spell. So you do your lore, but you don't roll the additional yeah. dice. Just one. Well, you still have another action. Yep, and I shall. Okay, one, two, three, four. Good roll. It's weakening, so what? it'll take you another turn. Yeah, that's all for me. <clears throat> TJ? Okay, I'm going to search the box. I'm going to be mad if you don't do this. Alright, unfortunately, the owner of this mansion has not stored anything useful to an investigation her. However, you do find plenty of paperwork documenting scandalous secrets within the Silver Twilight Lodge. It may not be enough to convince anyone in authority, but it makes you feel better. Gain the circumstantial evidence unique item and become focused. Then discard the search token. And you still have another action. Uh, I will move, I guess. Okay. Okay. Alright, so it's my turn. I'll talk with the piano guy. Compliment the music. <clears throat> I have to do an influence check. Going to be Two successes. Become focused. I already am focused. Okay, and that leaves me with another action, so just move me one, two.
Okay. Each investigator flips two damage face up. <clears throat> Minor injury, no effect. Minor injury, no effect. Back spasm, drop a random item. That means I have to drop everything I have. Okay, so I hope I don't drop my... Uh, the diet. Please don't. Because then I have to spend an action just to pick it up. <clears throat> okay. Of course it is. Are you serious? Oh my god. Yep. Yeah, I have to spend an action to pick it up. Okay. Alright, the ball will be ending soon. That would be bad if it. Alright, we have to spawn a wraith as indicated. Alright, so move him one, move him into my space. No, he, yeah, okay. I have to do a lore check. My lore is two. And if you fail, you, it's a lore three. Yeah. Alright, if you fail, suffer two damage. Okay. Uh, not loose. Become lost in time and space, then discard this card. Alright, it helps you. Minor injury. Okay, I think mm -hmm. you become lost in spaces. Oh, I'm pretty sure you just move yourself on the board. Well, that means I don't have to do a horror check. Hmm? Correct. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey? I shall. Pick up pick your up, item? Yeah, pick up the item. And then and do then it again. Exactly. All right, destroy it. If this doesn't do it. Okay, lower. One. You have focused. Two, three. Oh, yeah, I can just use focused. Okay, so four. This doesn't do it. There's no beating it. Well, it is the last thing, so it's probably got several. You can feel power animating from the didatum. As soon as it does, a blood curdling scream echoes through night. Spawn a wrath okay, as indicated. That's it. Come on, yeah. There's already one on the board in there. Yeah. Okay, so it's linked to the spirits attacking you, drawing power from to defer to destroy you. Must first defeat the spirit. No, I, know I, I think we're gonna lose this one because time doesn't give us enough. Well, you're up, so it's your turn. One, one two, three, four. Might as well help. Okay, I'm lost in time and space, so I can't. Let me see. Yeah. You may attempt to find your way. Flip this card. The people of this era claim to have small devices that can guide you. Influence two. Does that shot be useful? Well, I can. Sp I'm focused, so that's fine. Wait, you have tons of clues. I'm focused, so I spend this to make it a clue. Then you discard it. If you convince. No, you don't just, you don't just, you, oh yeah, that's right. If you pass, you convince them to help, but are horrified at the breath of knowledge they command. Suffer one face down horror. Then place your investigator figure in any explored space and discard this card. Okay. So you can go I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go right here. So that was my first action. So my second action will be to shit. All your items are over here. Good. I was okay. gonna say, did you want to go to that space instead? You have a strength of five. You can punch it. Punch it in the face. I was gonna say, did you want to go to that space instead? Well, I want to get them off your back so you don't have to. Well, I do have a weapon. I, and I'll punch him. Okay. You've got to punch a spirit. Punch. Fuck, 15. What? 15 hell? Yeah, he has 15. I'll say, one after you kill that one, CJ. Uh, I'm not killing that one. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Uh, well, on it, it's going it to it's gonna move into your spot. No spot. Pass. Equal to your test results. Plus one. So three. Hey, you did it. Well, I punched a wraith. Okay. That by daylight like, be like. Each investigator with an improvement. No, Nobody. 
Okay, the first wraith will move to CJ space uh, and attack. Monster. Suffer three damage, strength plus one negates. <laughs> so you suffer. Michael Wave, one damage. Okay. Here you go. Just out of curiosity, what does a restraint do? It, it stops the monster from moving. Oh, okay, but it doesn't stop it from attacking? Okay. Good point. Okay, so that was you. Alright. And attacks the investigator with the lowest observation. I have three. Uh, Thor, I've got five. Okay, so attacks me. Don't die. Agility one. You can probably make that. Yeah, four. Yes. Yeah. If you pass, drop one random item. I have no items not, to drop. Not a problem. <laughs> drop the... Okay, CJ, we'll do your horror check first. Suffer three horror, lower negates. You passed. That's a pretty good roll. I mean, Jeffrey, and you get a clue. Remember that. Yep, for passing the horror check. And you'll become focused. Yeah. Suffer two horror will negate. Pass. I spend a clue. Pass. And I become focused. Okay. okay. Alright, let me attack it first. Okay. I can whittle it down. Maybe you only have to spend one round doing an attack. Okay. Well, I yeah, I'm not actually sure. Is the diadem still there, or did I it destroy it? I'm not sure. Influence plus one, which is five. Okay. I am focused, so. That's real. All right, so it only takes two damage. Next attack. Influence two. Hey you. Spend a clue. Because I'm no longer focused. Suffers three damage. Hey, my edge really good at I'll take care of this one. Depending on what rolls and stuff, if it's potentially a okay. kill at this turn. Alright. Okay. I will attack. What are you attacking with? Uh, pickaxe. Bullet, uh, but, uh, heavy weapon. I hope it's not strength. Observation two. Okay. One, two. Okay. It just suffers two damage. Okay, then and just the two. Jesus. Okay, and I'll attack it again. Observation two. Okay, one, two, three. Suffers two damage. Okay. You guys need my help? Okay. I could kill it right now if I evaded. <clears throat> yeah, if you fail to evade, you'd lose the action entirely. Actually, no, you, you wouldn't be able to. You're one, two spaces away, three one, spaces one, away. One, two. Poison misses the Jason. Yeah, I guess so. You could try. Yeah. I could try. I well, maybe if it, oh. you could try it, but if you fail the evasion, you lose one of your actions entirely. So it's up to you. Okay. Yeah, I'll try that. Okay. So much shoulders. Uh, Two wheel. Different one. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Another right. So it's still wheel. Or is it different? Uh, oh Suffer two. Okay. Agility plus one. Okay, but wait, it was originally Will. I'm much better with Will. Hold on. Why do I got to do it totally different? No. Uh, okay, you suffered two damage, agility plus one to gates, and you were free to move. Okay. Okay, then I'll move. 
One, two, and then we're gonna do poisonous. Watch him hit us with the uh, Probably will. side effect. Spell. Will two. Plus one. Got it. You're gonna kill it. So do your spell effect. Spell uh, results. Form mm -hmm. Suffer one horror than each other monster in your space and resistance suffer two. Okay, so for one whore, yeah. you have one, two, three, four, five, six, so here you go. Squeamish! After you perform an attack action, flip one whore face up. Okay. Alright, turning a ghastly shade of red, the spirit keens its death mm -hmm. nail with its death. The twilight diadem also loses its strength and finally breaks. The investigation is complete. complete. We probably got the best ending for this one. Yeah, probably. All right. Think of the delicate metal and sparkling gems of the diadem smash into irreparable shards, releasing a shockwave of pure power from within its cursed frame. For an instant, horrifying visions overwhelm your mind, and you lose all sense of the world around you. When you regain your senses, only moments have passed. Very few people have even noticed the turmoil among the music and celebrations of the ball. Mary Ann clutches at your hand, eyes wide and searching the room for danger as several members of the Order converge on you. Carl Sanford impresses upon you the merits of not making waves and listening to one's social superiors before having you and Mary Ann escorted out. However, you're afraid that the Order is not the worst enemy you have made tonight. The memory of those strange visions is fresh in your mind, and you feel a certain something is watching you, growing ever closer. I guess that's the best ending. Mm -hmm. and that, that, makes it, that makes it two times in a row this grandma has been dead. I can't think of anything else we could have done to be there, so. Okay, well that the next one is Oops. Behind closed doors you waken in a cold cell with nothing but the clothes on your back and trinkets in your pockets Through the walls you hear other desperate strangers that share your plot You must band together to escape or else risk succumbing to whatever dreadful fate your captors have prepared it is From the same expansion and as three star difficulty, 120 to 150 minutes. Okay. So, um, thoughts? Yeah. I liked it. That one had, that one had a pretty good balance between I mean, investigating and fighting. It was unique. Uh, well, my insane was this: you do not win the game as normal. Instead, you win only if the investigation is complete, and there are no search tokens on the board. There weren't. There weren't. I made sure of it. Otherwise, you lose the game. Look. Hmm? The wall. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you struck by insanity. Right. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'd say that this one was. I mean, I like the location. It was unique. I like the parade floats. Yeah. Yeah. That was just something totally different. Yeah, I hadn't seen anything like that on any of the others. I just kind of thought it was mediocre. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. well, that's fine. You're free that way. And the, yeah. next, the next one seems pretty fun. I mean, I guess it just felt a bit tedious in some parts, like at the beginning with the floats. I do like the floats, but I feel like yeah, instead of having to stop it whenever I had to, wish it would just. I feel like they could have done more floats, like, uh. have. I don't know. Uh, I do like the um, uh, mast thing, but we never did anything with the rope. Okay. <laughs> I still have not been able to use banished, but yeah, th this was the first uh, scenario we've had that used anything with the restraint yeah. items, which I could see how that could be useful if monsters are chasing it. Just say, put one in front of a door and. Move along and let them get caught. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's kind of forgettable. Okay. In the beginning with the floats. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, and we hope to see you next time. Until then.